Hey guys, welcome to my fourth auto coding tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over uh, quick um, boolean functions. I'm going to show you if thens, else, and else if, and a quick string boolean example. Because in the first twos with if thens, I'm going to show you um, just using an integer kind of um, case. So it's going to deal with a variable equaling an integer. I'm going to have x equal 5. Um, the reason I'm doing this tutorial, I want to just make sure like if thens are they're self-explanatory, but um, I'm just gonna show you if then um, as well as else and else ifs inside if thens, um, kind of in a quick example, so you'll be able to just know it. Um, and also, I'm gonna show you a string boolean example, so it's gonna be an if then with a string of text instead of an integer, because integers are pretty basic. But um, I'm gonna show you if it's just like this: if something is true, then something else occurs. And with that else, there could be a line of possibilities. So um, I'll go ahead and show you if x uh, equals 5, then well, if there's only one possibility, like one outcome from this, then you can keep it one line. So you could just say message box um, x equals 5. Oops. Like, and you ex execute it, x equals 5 because it's stored up here as 5. Now if there's multiple uh, multiple possibilities like um you're going to you probably use else um so else is only used when there's um if all else other possibilities don't exist. So if else is 6, or I mean uh if x is 6 since that doesn't occur then whatever else occurs. So message box um x isn't Five. Oops. And then you close it off with an end if. And go ahead and show you. Oops. Wow. Syntax error. You serious? Oops. Okay. Go ahead and show you. So x isn't five. But now let's say you want multiple uh, multiple scenarios. Scenarios. I can't. I can never say that word. Okay. So I'm gonna have x equals seven, and I'm gonna say else if. So if x equals five, then that. But since it doesn't. There could be another scenario. If else, if x equals seven, then message box x equals seven. Go and show you x equals seven. And uh, so, and then if all if these two don't occur, then whatever else will occur. This else down here. So that's pretty much what else. Or I can't even talk right now. That's pretty much what if else if else and end ifs well not end if but el those three do and then you always close it off with an end if just want to make sure you, uh, you guys all understand that because I use if and then statements like a, a lot a lot like every project I probably have at least one if then it's ridiculous but yeah it's pretty simple but I just you know quick tutorial on that um, I'm also going to show you since it's integers um, that's you know that's easy but uh i'll show you a quick string example i'm gonna have this string of text equal hello mom okay so hello mom is stored in this string so i'm gonna make a boolean involving it i'm gonna say if string equals hello mom then yeah okay i don't even have to do it. you guys understand something since it equals um that exact thing then something's gonna occur but I'm gonna show you a quick example of how you could um, uh, use texts inside uh, if then. So like, I think in my string example or string tutorial, I showed you string and string. That function right there verifies if a certain substring exists in an entire string. So I'm gonna use string. See if, um, and I'm gonna see if mom exists in that string, which it does. And since it, if I want to see if it exists, it's going to be not zero because if something doesn't exist in a string, it's going to return zero. So essentially, if it's in there, it's going to be not zero. Then message box um, mom is in there. And yeah, since mom is inside that string, it will return uh, true and show you the message box. But now I'm going to show you if it's not in there, if it equals zero because it returns false because it's not in there. I'm going to say dad instead. 
and it will say mom isn't there. Oops. Okay. So yeah, mom isn't there. So yeah, that's um, I use that example because I use that frequently as well. I use string and string a lot. So yeah, that's an exa a basic example involving strings of text. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. It. Wow. Again, stupid mistakes with my talking. Um, yeah, I stutter a lot. So in case you haven't noticed, but yeah. Um, also, um, update about my website with my tutorials. It's now autoitnerds.com. I switched the domain. Um, and it should be perfectly up by the, by tonight, if not, then tomorrow, it shouldn't be too soon. And again, if you want a tutorial made, just put it under the request section and I should make it within, um, a few days, depending on how busy I am. But yeah, my next tutorial is probably going to involve, um, another basic autoit concept. Until then, I don't know, but should be coming out in the next few days. So, um, hope you enjoyed.